43 years ago, I was a girl of 12 years old. Here, 43 miles south of this place. I didn't have a listening room like this listening room, but I was often told to go to my room because they did not want to see me. And I would go to my room and it became my safe refuge. And in that room, I would have thoughts and conversations with myself. And sometime I would even talk to God and question if there was a God. But I'll keep asking the questions because as long as I can ask the questions, it means that I'm alive. Lisa is a veteran, a former military officer, a proven leader, a graceful warrior, community advocate, and author. It is my honor to recognize your impact service on behalf of sexual exploitation, trafficking victims, their families, and the communities they call home. By answering the call to service, you have truly become a guiding light to those you serve and an inspiration to others to give back to their community. Lisa C. Williams is a survivor, a fighter, and a champion for all who have been sexually exploited. She is an inspiration and an example of how one person can make a tremendous change in the world. Ms. Williams' philanthropic endeavors are inclusive of the Circle of Friends Impact Legacy Scholarship Fund via the Century Challenge at Boston University, a matched dollar for dollar endowment for the next 100 years, Ms. Lisa, of course, is an asset to society because showing that she's willing to look not just at this mayhem that goes on at the time when children are brought to her from all parts of the country, but looking forward, how can I help you become educated? She has now memorialized here at Boston University the Century Club Philanthropic Gift to provide a debt-free undergraduate and graduate degree program for survivors and thrivers from sexual exploitation. You have always been an advocate for your cause to support young women's goals beyond any limiting circumstances. It only makes sense that you would also create a scholarship so that the lack of money would not limit another's dreams from coming to fruition. To honor her contributions, the university will dedicate the Lisa C. Williams Listening Room in her honor at the Howard Thurman Center for Common Ground. This room is a safe space for quiet meditation, introspection, and contemplation. The unveiling of the Lisa C. Williams Listening Room is nothing short of a testimonial to the everlasting impact of your work to build and foster collaborative and inclusive communities around the world to continue to embody the powerful capabilities of women coming together to fuel meaningful conversations and to cultivate change among society's most pressing issues. The Lisa C. Williams Listening Room was created to catalyze the discovery of this great science, not only in the individuals who tangibly experience this space, but also everyone who encountered the souls who recognize the genuine in themselves because of it. This listening room is a testament to Lisa's work and life because she listened to the call to serve and she heard the voices and the individuals without voices yet. We need quiet places to listen to the whispers in our heart. And here in this place, Lisa has given rise to an active listening space, wherein all who enter may discover the gifts of the spirit, may pursue their whole sacred divine self. The idea of this room being a place for those to go and read and sit quietly with their thoughts, embodies everything that Lisa is about. My mom instilled in me a way to listen and really glean out. This room really reflects that passion she instilled in me to hear a little more deeply, and I think that's gonna impact others who visit the same room. I just think about Lisa's journey and the ways that she has 
impacted me has always been about deep reflection, introspection, and honesty. And I think that meditation spaces or spaces that cause us to go deep within ourselves um, bring that out of us. Having a space on a major college campus where people can go to reflect and to, to just be with themselves and learn about themselves really does encapsulate a lot of what Lisa was about when, when she was doing the work with the, uh, the children. The Lisa C. Williams Listening Room is perfect where students can come, reflect, think about the things that are going on in their lives and be able to just bring it down and feel grounded and have a place to do that. It makes sense that Lisa would have an entire room, an entire space on a campus where people are learning and thriving and communicating and finding ways to solve the world's problems, she created a space where people can identify that still small voice within themselves. My name is Lisa C. Williams, and I dare say I sat in my room in Air, Massachusetts 43 years ago, which is 43 miles from here, by the way. I did not think negative thoughts in my room. Only who I would be one day. What are you gonna do in life? What joys are you going to have? Because after all, in the room I was free.